Greetings, Andres here, the Bronx Citizen, also advocate for naturopathic, holistic, medical nutrition. On one of my videos um, that I titled, Bronx Citizen Cures His 14 Diseases, subtitled, The 12 Deadly Foods. I cover the foods I used to eat since I was born and how these uh, deadly foods had a detrimental impact on my health. I call them deadly because they were making me sick and killing me slowly. The 12 deadly foods are also killing you slowly as well, making you sick and killing you slowly as well. You must watch that video before you begin this 90-day health recovery challenge that I'm about to introduce. Watch that video first. Visit NutriWarriors.org, and the video is right there on the home page. You can't miss it. Um, I made it easy for everyone to find it. Warning, that video is very, very long. It's four hours long. I covered extensively the 12 deadly foods I used to eat and my testimony of the hell I experienced with my diseases. I also covered more than um, why more than half of Americans uh, are sick, um, why Hispanic, Latinos, and African Americans have the highest cancer rate and coronary diseases. And a whole bunch of other topics are in that video. So before taking this 90-day health recovery challenge, please watch The Bronx Citizen Cures is 14 Diseases, subtitled The 12 Deadly Foods on NutriWarriors.org. Okay, let's begin. I promise I will not make this video four hours long. I'll try to speed it up. Okay, um, why should you take this 90-day health recovery challenge? Well, first of all, it's going to get you healthy and make you feel better. It may attempt to reverse some of your illness. Key word there is may re reverse some of your illnesses. Even if you don't have any illnesses, you should take this 90-day health recovery challenge. Even if you're not sick. Now, I know what you're going to ask. Why, Andres? Why should I take this healthy recovery challenge if I'm not sick? You want to make some extra money, huh? You know, with your medical nutrition, huh? You want to make some extra dough? No. My goal and my objective is to get every one of you healthy and keep you healthy before you get sick. I don't want anyone, I don't want you or anyone to get sick like I got sick. The reason why I was sick and close to death, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I came this close to death, is because I was eating the wrong foods and I was nutritionally deficient big time. My body was about to shut down completely. I was in really bad shape, man. I was really in bad shape. I'm trying to prevent this from happening to you. Do I make money on medical nutrition? Of course I do. Of course. Okay, I have to pay bills like everybody else. I've got to pay bills like everybody else. You will notice on my videos, I am not promoting the business opportunity. You don't see me in my videos say, come, let's make some money together. Put some money in your pocket. Let's make a little extra income. You don't see me doing that on my videos, right? Now, I'm not saying that that's wrong. I am not saying that that's wrong. It's not wrong to promote your medical nutrition business if you are um, a longevity distributor. Okay, It's not wrong. All I am saying is my priority is to get you healthy and your family and your friends and your co-workers and your church members Let's get them healthy again. Let's start with you first. It begins with you. Once you get healthy, trickle it down now to your family and your friends, co-workers, etc. Okay, they're very sick too. Okay, remember, more than half of Americans are sick. So you know your friends and your family members are sick too. Once you get healthy, okay, once you get healthy, uh, some of your friends and family members are going to ask, how the heck did you do that? Then you got to show them. You got to teach them too how to get them healthy. That's when I come in, okay, <laughs> and I'll teach you how to do it. And then you teach it to your friends, family members, okay? So, folks, 
even if you're healthy as a horse, you could be healthy as a horse, take this 90-day health recovery challenge. I almost forgot the title. <laughs> Avoid getting sick before it happens. So let's begin. Here we go. Once again, my name is Andres from the Boogie Down Bronx. I am the dude that had 15 diseases and I reverse 14 of them. I'm still dealing with one disease, chondromalacia. Darn it, that chondromalacia is hard to get rid of, man, but it's healing nicely. My left leg is fully healed. I uh, just need uh, my right leg to heal a little bit more. I would say in about another year, year and a half, maybe two years, my chondromalacia is completely gone. I also need to lose 50 more pounds from my uh, normal BMI. So, um, Almost diseased free. Can't wait. I'm dying to ride my bike. Dying, I'm dying to go back bike riding. Ladies and gentlemen, there are three steps for this 90 day health recovery. That's it. Just three steps. Keep in mind, this may not work for everyone. I am not making any promises. Um, I am uncertain how damaged your body is. Okay? You may still feel like crap. However, it doesn't hurt to try it for 90 days at least. For heaven's sakes, try it. Just try it. The first step is going to be tough. It will be tough. Most of my clients have trouble with this first step, and that is abstaining from the 12 deadly foods. Getting rid of those 12 deadly foods is tough, folks. You need to do this first. You got to get rid of the terrible foods that you are eating every day. I kid you not, man. Most of my clients, including their family members, my family members, uh, my friends, uh, they have trouble getting rid of these foods, which leads me to believe that these foods have some kind of addictive chemicals, some addictive ingredients. It is my opinion, and many do agree with me, that these foods have some kind of addictive chemicals. Some of my clients, uh, by the way, a client is a customer. Okay, I want to get these terms clear uh, so you don't get confused. An affiliate is someone who is a distributor who promotes their medical nutrition business or any um, network business. That's an affiliate, also known as a distributor. I am both a client and affiliate. I just want to get that cleared out of the way so when you hear these terms, you won't get confused. Anyway, my clients uh, would say, I can't get my wife or husband off these foods. I'm struggling with my wife or with my husband. Um, I can't get my, child, my children off these foods. Um, folks, you have to try to get rid of these foods if you want to get healthy. You have to get rid of these foods. Once you get rid of these foods, these 12 deadly foods, you will begin to feel a little better because your body now is attempting to fix itself. Uh, once you get fully healthy, you will never touch these foods ever again. I guarantee you, when I started getting healthy, I don't want to see these foods. I don't want to smell it. And God forbid, I don't want to even taste it or swallow it. Get rid of them quickly. Here are the 12 foods. Remember, you can watch my video, The 12 Deadly Foods, for complete details on all 12 deadly foods. And forgive me here, my PowerPoint again is giving me problems. Every time I do a video, this gives me a problem. Here we go. It's a little slow. The, trans <laughs> the transition is a little slow. The first four foods are greens. Okay, wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Each of these grains contains a prolamin. Uh, there, there, there are four prolamins, one for each grain, wheat, barley, rye, and oats. You'll learn more about these prolamins. Together, these prolamins, collectively, they're known as gluten. Okay, you'll learn more about gluten and what, it's, what is it doing to your digestive system um, in my video. So please... Watch that video. Don't forget to watch that video, The 12 Deadly Foods, my version, the four-hour version. There's a 
Uh, there's a 21-minute version by Dr. Peter Glidden also on my uh, website. The next five foods are known to cause cancer and other illnesses. They are oils in a bottle, canola oil, vegetable oil, coconut oil, olive oil, and that is considered the most deadliest oil on the planet. Um, it slows down your blood flow, uh, your blood circulation by 31%. Uh, this also includes oils in salad dressing bottles. Get rid of all oils and salad dressing oils, okay? Because salad dressing contains uh, oils. Uh, make your own salad dressing. You know, you can make your own uh, salad uh, dressing. I usually um, put um, um, organic... Um, what do you call that? Um, apple cider vinegar, um, a little bit of raspberry vinegar or, or raspberry vinegar. You choose your the one that you want. A little bit of lemon. Squeeze a little lip, uh, lemon. Sprinkle a little uh, black pepper. And bingo, you got yourself a salad dressing, okay? You can do your own salad dressing, all right? You don't have to use freaking oils. Get rid of oils. Also, oils oxidizes very quickly and it invites free radicals. Free radicals attack and damage cells, tissue, therefore causing cancer. There's your first source of cancer, oils. The next food is fried foods. Duh. If you're going to get rid of oils, you got to get rid of fried foods. Fried foods is the biggest killer in America and the United States. Um, it is also big with Hispanics, Latinos, African American. These demographical groups have the highest rate of cancer and coronary diseases. Fried food is a major cancer killer and causes coronary um, diseases. Again, these are the number one uh, killer. It's the number one cause of death in the United States. That is the second source of cancer, fried foods. Again, I talk more about that in my video. The next food is the skin of a baked potato is also carcinogenic. If you're going to bake a potato, including yams, sweet potatoes, eat the potato and get rid of the skin. Okay, that's another source of cancer. Next food is deli meats, also known as processed meat. They also um, are carcinogenic because it contains sodium nitrates and nitrites. It also produces a, you know, uh, a carcinogenic compound when you heat it. Uh, when you heat the processed meat, it creates this uh, carcinogenic compound. This compound is what causes cancer. That's why you got to get rid of sodium nitrates and sodium nitrites. Even if you have uh, cancer and you get ham with your know, ham, um, salami, bologna, without sodium nitrates, I do not want you to take that. Do not eat that. Okay? You got to get rid of the cancer first. No processed meat, even if you have cancer, without nitrates. Okay? Please refrain, um, please abstain from deli meats if you have cancer. The next food that causes cancer is well done red meat. Cook your red meat rare or medium rare. Not well done. These are also... Um, this is also known to cause cancer. So there it is, folks. Those are the five foods that causes cancer, coronary diseases, slows down your blood flow, which is very bad. Okay. The remaining three foods, the remaining, there goes the PowerPoint presentation. It's slow. The remaining three foods are carbonated drinks, genetically modified organisms, such as corn, and soy and other GMO food. There are many genetically modified food that's out there, folks. And the last one is non-organic foods. You need to buy your foods organic. Okay, eat organic like our ancestors did in their generation. They didn't consume foods laced with pesticides, herbicide, genetically modified food. They didn't eat that. They ate organic naturally. They ate natural foods. Same thing with, a, with chicken and turkey. They didn't eat, you know, chicken and turkey that was injected with bovine growth hormones and all kinds of uh, antibiotics. Okay, so make sure you buy your meats also without any hormones 
and antibiotic, grass fed. Make sure that your food, your meats are fed gra um, grass fed. Again, visit NutriWarriors.org for a complete details on these foods and watch my version of the 12 Deadly Foods. Um, again, it's four hours long. I, co I cover every one of these foods and many other topics such as the vegan diet is also there. Dr. Peter Glidden, like I said, naturopath doctor, my hero who saved my life, um, responsible for getting rid of my 14 diseases. He has a 21-minute version there, so you may want to watch the short version, the 21-minute version. But I cover a lot more than he does. Now, when you get rid of these foods, you will begin to feel a little better within about 15 to 30 days, which is what I experienced. 15 to 30 days, you're going to feel a little better. Uh, within 10 days, I lost 10 pounds. Also, when you abstain from these foods, your digestive system begins to fix itself. All that crap you've been eating for years, carbonated drinks, barley, wheat, rye, yada, yada, yada. Since you were born, you've been eating with these foods. Okay? It's gotta, you got to get rid of them. If you continue to eat these foods, your body cannot fix itself. Sorry, I can't help you. you got to get rid of the foods. Remember, your body can fix itself if you allow it. You got to allow the body to fix itself and cleanse itself. The first step is to get rid of these foods. The quicker you do it, the quicker your body can begin to fix your digestive system. Speaking of the uh, digestive system, did you know the digestive system is the most important system in the human body? That's my opinion and is also the opinion of many naturopaths. And some also allopathic doctors agree that the digestive system is the most important system in the human body. More important than the immune system. Okay? Why? More important than the immune system? Are you crazy, Andres? Andres, are you insane in the membrane? Yo, Mr. Bronx Citizen, you're missing a few nutrients up here in your brain, right? You need to get some more nutrients up there. Something's wrong with you. <laughs> Everyone knows that the immune system is the most important system in the human body. Well, let me explain a little, uh, little quickly here. Let me explain. If the digestive system is damaged, you cannot absorb nutrients. Your body is incapable of nutrient absorption. What happens when the organ, uh, a respiratory organ, um, cannot get nutrients or or your organs from the cardiovascular system, etc. They can get nutrients. What happens if you're not getting nutrients it needs to, to get so it can be healthy? So your gallbladder could be healthy, your heart, uh, even your bones, okay? Your bones is not getting the nutrients it needs. Or the immune system. What happens if the immune system is not getting the nutrients it needs to keep it healthy and strong so it can fight diseases? Or how about the skeletal system, which includes bones and joints? Okay, what happens if they don't get nutrients? What happens when your bones don't get nutrients? Here comes the pain. I, 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 why are my hands hurting? How come my hands and my joints are hurting? That's because your skeletal system is having problems. Why am I having trouble breathing? I can't breathe because your respiratory system is getting damaged. Why am I having all of these health issues? What's going on? Because you're not absorbing nutrients. Why am I not absorbing nutrients? How come I'm not absorbing nutrients? Because your digestive system is damaged. That's why you're not absorbing nutrients. Why is my digestive system damaged? Why is my digestive system damaged? Because you're eating crap. Get it? You're eating crap. You have damaged your digestive system by eating crap. The 12 deadly food that you must get rid of. Once you get rid of that, you're on your way to health. Okay? And that's why the digestive system is the most important system in your body. Okay? Once it has problems, once the digestive system has problems, you begin to have health issues. One of them is malnutrition. So, you may be asking, 
So, Andres, how do I fix my digestive system? How do I fix it? Stop eating crap. <laughs> Abstain from the 12 deadly foods, and you're on your way. All right, so step one is bye-bye the 12 deadly foods. Now, for about 15 days, at least 15 days of abstaining the 12 deadly foods, your body is practically ready to absorb nutrients. And now you're ready for the next step. You've completed step number one for about 15 days. Okay, now it's re you're ready for step number two. So step number two will be uh, the step number two for the 90-day health recovery process is to take the 90 essential nutrients that the body requires. The 90 essential nutrients are broken down to 60 essential minerals. Uh, that's 60, six, zero, 16 essential vitamins, 12 essential amino acids, and three essential fatty acids for a grand total of 90 essential nutrients. 91 to be exact, but 90 is a nice rounded off number. The 90 essential nutrients are also known as 90 for life. You have to take them for the rest of your life. Every one of those nutrients is required to keep your body healthy. Keep in mind, these nutrients are no longer present in our foods. You can't get them in our foods. Gee, I wonder why, huh? That's... Uh, that's another video for another time, okay? <laughs> I'll explain that in another video. So, back to the 90-day recovery challenge. So, how do we ingest the 90 essential nutrients? Thanks to Dr. Joe Wallach, another hero of mine. He's another hero. I consider him the father of naturopathic medicine. He discovered a mine in Utah that is rich in nutrients, uh, particularly minerals. He bought the mine, uh, the mining rights for 100 years. <laughs> he bought the mining rights for 100 years. Only he and his company, Longevity, have the mining rights. Okay? He created the 90 essential nutrients in packs called the Healthy Body Packs. The, the Healthy Body Packs. And there are a number of them based on the support you need for your illnesses. So, for example, if you have an arthritic condition or some kind of arthritis uh, or you have a bone disorder like osteoporosis, the pack that you will need to get is a healthy body bone and joint pack, okay? If you have some kind of dementia, uh, you would need then the healthy body brain and heart pack. Simple, right? See, depending what the illness is and you need support, for that illness, that, uh, that doesn't mean that doesn't sound right, right? Support for an illness, that's like saying I support diabetes. No, you don't. You're against diabetes. You don't support it. You don't support an illness. But you get the gist. You get the uh, the point, right? Whatever the illness you have, you pick the pack that will help you with that illness. For this 90-day recovery challenge, I want you to take the basic package known as the Healthy Body Start Pack 2.0 Liquid. Large name, huh? kind of big. <laughs> uh, the Healthy Body Start Pack 2.0 Liquid. Just that package, plus two extra supplements that is critical that you need to take. If you are watching this video on NutriWarriors.org, scroll down the page. Right on the bottom of the page on this video, you will see the package. Um, along with the two supplements. If you are watching this video on YouTube, in the description field, I linked the 90-day health recovery page. Uh, it will take you to that page automatically. And it has this video that you're watching right now, and it will begin to play where you left off. Okay? So you can click on the link now if you're on YouTube, and uh, I'll see you at NutriWarriors.org. Go ahead and click the link on the bottom in the description field. If you're on YouTube, if you're on Nutri Warriors watching on it, stay, okay? All righty, here are the supplements. The first supplement, the first one is called Tang uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0 Citrus Peach Fusion. Long title, <laughs> Beyond Tangy Tangerine uh, 2.0 Citrus Peach Fusion. 
Um, here it is. This is what it looks like. It looks like a can of uh, a canister of Tang. Doesn't it look like Tang? Uh, by the way, don't drink that stuff, man. That Tang is terrible. Okay, that stuff is garbage. Or anything that they sell in the store, any like kind of supplement you need to read. There's a lot of nasty stuff in there. Don't you drink that. This is the powdered version of Tangy Tangerine. Okay, it's a juice. Okay, it... um. This bad boy contains 88 essential nutrients, 88, gluten-free, non-GMO, organic, and also non-synthetic, pure nutrients, no fillers, there are no fillers. It is the reason why we call it medical nutrition because it has been medically and clinically proven that it works, it freaking works, man. <laughs> Incidentally, all of Dr. Walter, uh, Dr. Walter, that's a, a theologian. Um, <laughs> Dr. Wallach, uh, medical nutritions are all pure. They're pure, no filler, they, and that's why they work. He knows the formulation, okay? This uh, also has over 8,000 ORAC scores per serving, 8,000 ORAC scores, uh, plus 5,700 milligrams of organic whole foods like beet juice, berries, parsley leaves, etc. This bad boy is no joke. This sucker is no joke. Woo! Love this stuff. I really love this stuff. Alrighty. Let's talk about how to take this supplement, this Tangy Peach 2.0. Um, each supplement, like this one, is measured by 100 pounds. So, for example, if you weigh 100 pounds in the United States, other countries, I think, uses kilograms. I, I think they use kilogram. Uh, do your own conversion. I suck in math. I, I am terrible in math. So if you weigh 100 pounds, you would need one canister per month. If you weigh 200 pounds, you need two of them. Sorry, my camera is kind of wacky. Two of them for 200 pounds. Okay. You can mix this however you want. I don't care how you mix this. Uh, however, don't mix it with carbonated drinks. That's a no-no. Don't you dare mix this with a carbonated drink. If, I will personally go to your house and punch you on the nose if you're mixing this with a carbon carbonated drink. Okay, don't ever do that. Check it out. Um, I had a tea bag. You know, there's a tea bag. And um, this tea bag is a, um, I forgot what it is. Um, the tea bag is, uh, yeah, it's a caffeine free raspberry herbal tea from India. Awesome stuff. The brand is called uh, Organic India. That's it, Organic India. Uh, oh my God, it's freaking awesome, man. It tastes awesome too with the tangy. When you mix it with the tangy, it's awesome. The tea is a little expensive, though. It's kind of expensive. You got to get it online. They don't sell it here in the Bronx or even in Manhattan. I even tried uh, one of those vitamin stores. Anyway, mix the tangy uh, with spring water or filtered tap water. Okay, that's it. Uh, for 100 pounds, you take two scoops in a 16-ounce bottle of spring water, like in a sports bottle like this one. Okay, this one is actually 24 ounce. Uh, 16 ounces about right here, as you can see it, right here. So, um, four scoops, if you weigh 200 pounds, in a 16-ounce bottle of spring water or tap water. Again, I don't care. Just make sure it's spring water or tap water and it's filtered. Six scoops, if you weigh 300 pounds, and I will put that in a 24-ounce Okay. By the way, I got this on the 99 cent store. That's my store, 99 cents. Okay. Uh, 24 ounces is actually right up here. And I like this sports bottle because it indicates the uh, the fluid ounces. Okay. You know, like 10 and 16 and then 24 right up here. Okay. So you, 99 cents, that's my store. You know, I love that store, the 99 cent store. Okay. 24 ounce, uh, six scoops. If you weigh 300 pounds, six, six scoops and a 24 ounce of spring water. Why 24 ounce? You can mix six scoops and 16 ounce of water, okay? 
but it will taste very tangy. Ooh, it will taste very, it will taste so tangy that you're going to be like, whoa, too tangy. You may want to water it down, 24 ounce. Okay, you can also do this. Check it out. If you weigh 300 pounds, three scoops in the morning and 16 ounce of water and three scoops for dinner and 16 ounce water. That's how I did it when I weighed 300 pounds. Okay, you should drink it slowly and make it last for about an hour or more. Don't down it like water. I mean, and and, and don't down it like um, like um, some people down um, beer. I've seen people do that, and they finish the bottle in five minutes. Um, you want to do this very slowly. Here's how I do it. This is how I do it. Okay, I do it this way. I take it. I take about four sips. And you put it down. Okay, you may want to shake it a little because sometimes the powder gets to the bottom. So you might want to shake it a little. Put it down for five minutes. Continue doing what you were doing. Uh, if you were working on your computer, reading a book, okay, and then later, about five or ten minutes, take another four sip and continue it until it's done. It'll probably take you about an hour. Um, why should I do this? Why, why should you do this? For maximum absorption. Okay, we, I want you to get all the nutrients in your system. And by doing it that way, you'll get all the nutrients. It'll absorb very quickly. All righty, I'm going to speed it up a little. This video is taking too long. The second supplement is called EFAs, um, which stands for Essential Fatty Acids. Uh, this is uh, known as um, the three... Omegas, I call them the three omegas. Omega-3, 6, and 9 is what this bottle has. Technically, it's a fish oil. It's also made out of uh, borage plant, flax, and also uh, fish oils. This is a bad boy. Supports the health for the cardiovascular system. Ooh. Now, that's, now I see why we need 90. This is one of the supplements that got rid of my asthma, okay? I had asthma since I was five. One of my favorites. The, the, I got like five top favorite uh, nutrients. Now, how do you dose this nutrient? It's simple, folks. Remember what I said. Each supplement is calculated one bottle per month for 100 pounds, right? So if you weigh 100 pounds, all you need is one bottle per month. That's all you need. If you weigh 200 pounds, you need two bottles per month. You need two of these per month. So um, if you weigh 100 pounds, you need to take three caps a day, three gel caps per day. Now, take a wild guess if you weigh 300 pounds. How many EFA gel caps should you take? I'll give you a few seconds so you can do the math. Okay, did you get it? Okay, very simple. Nine EFAs, nine gel caps per day. Now, um, I know what you're thinking. Like, oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna overdose on EFAs. <laughs> I used to, uh, I used to take twelve a day when I weighed 365 pounds. I was dozing for 400 pounds. I'm still here, asthma free. I didn't die. I didn't overdose. Now I take three a day because I take the, the uh, maintenance dosage according to the bottle. Um, I don't have to take the therapeutic dose. This is what it's called, folks. When you have to take uh, more than what the uh, bottle states, that's the maintenance dose. The therapeutic dose is where you take a little bit more for support of a particular disease. That doesn't sound right, supported, but you know what I mean. I've got to find a... <laughs> <laughs> another uh, term to use, okay? Now, do you take, let's say you have to take nine because you weigh 300 pounds. Do you take all nine in one shot, like, <clears throat> and you just swallow it? No, you could, but you're not going to absorb everything. You took too much, okay? So the best way to do it is three for breakfast, three for lunch, and three for dinner, okay? See how easy that is? You take three for breakfast, three for lunch, and three for dinner, okay? Um, the next supplement, so that was the EFAs. The next supplement is called OsteoFX, the liquid version. 
Okay, I prefer the liquid version. This is OsteoFX here. Uh, OsteoFX. Uh, beyond OsteoFX, excuse me. Um, I prefer the liquid version versus the powder version because the liquid version tastes awesome uh, with organic non-GMO orange juice. That's how I take that. Uh, not the Tropicana caca or the Minute Maid caca, okay? You get organic juice. Spend a little dough on organic juice. Or better yet, freshly, uh, freshly squeezed oranges if you can, okay? I don't like the powdered version. The powdered version, do I have the powder? Yes, I do. I have the powdered version right here. I don't like the powdered version as much, okay? You know, I, I do like it, but not so much. This is the powdered version, okay? Um, I like the uh, the liquid version, okay? G, what does osteo mean? Relating to the bones. Osteoporosis, which is a disorder uh, of the bones when the bones become weak and um What's that called? Brittle. It becomes brittle. Uh, this also supports bone and joints as well. Healthy bones and joints. One bottle per month per 100 pounds. One bottle. Guess how many bottles you need for 200 pounds? Two bottles, right? And for three, three, uh, 300 pounds, three bottles, okay? Now, this is how you take it. For every 100 pounds, take one ounce in spring water, okay, one ounce, or orange juice, if you prefer orange juice. Like I said, I prefer freshly squeezed oranges um, in a glass, you know, like in a tall glass. Well, this is not glass, but it's a cup, tall cup, just like this. Fill it up, up fill up the juice up to here or water, and then pour um, one ounce if you weigh 100 pounds, one ounce. Now, some of my clients, it tastes great with grapefruit juice. I cannot stand grapefruit juice. Can't take it, okay? It's like too very acid, acidic. Uh, you can try it at your own risk. Give it a shot if it tastes good for you. Now, when I weighed 300 pounds, I took one shot glass like this, one shot glass, uh, just like that, uh, pure. In the morning, I would take one shot glass, pour it, and this is, again, 99 cents, <laughs> the 99 cent store. One shot glass, that's actually one fluid ounce. Um, and at night, before going to bed, I mix two ounces in a 16 cup of organic orange juice. Drink it slowly. Make it last for about 30 minutes. Again, you can mix this however you like. Remember... Not with a carbonated drink. Um, I'm going to punch you in the nose if I find out you're mixing these supplements with a carbonated drink. Here's a warning. Please pay attention. Do not take more than one ounce pure in a single dose. Not more than one ounce. Just one ounce. Okay? Just take one ounce. Do not take two or three in a single dose. Do not take more than one pure single dose. In other words... Don't do this. And I'm done. Why shouldn't you do that? For some people, okay, this acts like a laxative. <laughs> I learned the hard way. <laughs> I learned the hard way. So did many of my clients. I warn everybody now in my uh, health recovery workshops. Be careful. One ounce only if you're not mixing it with a liquid. One ounce. The rest, you do it with a liquid. And don't do this either. One ounce in the morning, and then in the afternoon, another ounce. I heard it also causes a laxative effect, okay? Um, it's best that you mix the rest, okay? Just take one and then mix the rest with a juice, okay? Uh, this is a funny story. One of my clients um, was driving on um, his way to work. He was going to work. He took three ounces in the morning before going to work. <laughs> While he was driving to work, his stomach started roaring and rumbling. <laughs> he was like, what the hell? <laughs> he returned home. He had to turn the car back. 
returned home, ran into the bathroom. Thank God he didn't get stuck uh, stuck in traffic. Rush hours in New York City is horrible. He was lucky, man, that he didn't get stuck. And thank God he wasn't on a bus or a subway. <laughs> Every time I conduct a health recovery workshop, my participants die laughing when I tell them that story. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. These are the three supplements, ladies and gentlemen. These are the three su supplements in a pack. And once again, the pack is called the Healthy Body Start Pack 2.0 Liquid. Liquid. 2.0 Liquid. This is why it's called the Liquid. Now, you can also get this if you don't like the liquid. This is still the Healthy Body Start Pack, the calcium, um, the osteo, the Beyond Osteo FX. It's the powdered version. But once again, for the 90 days, try the liquid one. Take it with the liquid. So that's one pack per 100 pounds. 200 pounds per month. If you weigh 200 pounds, you need to get two packs, two osteos, two EFAs, and two tangies. If you weigh 300 pounds, you get the gist, right? Three osteos, three EFAs, and three tangy. Now, the next supplement that you must get with this pack, with the three, it's called Ultimate Selenium. Ultimate Selenium. Selenium is a very important trace mineral. Uh, th this contains ad antioxidants uh, that protects the cell from cell damage and from free radicals attacking the cells and attacking the body. Cancer, ladies and gentlemen, cancer. It protects you from cancer and supports and also supports the immune system. Whoa, -ho, woo! <laughs> now, I take it because I'm a former um, cancer patient and I don't want my prostate cancer to regress. So I take selenium every day. Plus, I don't get sick anymore. It's been almost two years that um, I don't get sick. I guess my immune system is so powerful super powerful that I don't get sick. I don't get flu-like symptoms like I used to get every two weeks. I was always sick. Um, I don't think I'm capable of sneezing anymore. I can't, I can't remember the last day I sneezed. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only being silly here. I'm being very silly. Um, I haven't gotten sick in almost two years. Uh, you know something? Watch. I'm probably going to get sick. <laughs> I may get sick. Okay. <laughs> On my second year anniversary, I'm going to get sick. <laughs> okay, how do you dose this supplement, the um, Ultimate Selenium? How do you dose this? Um, okay, folks, come on. 100 pounds, how many bottles do you need? One. Okay, you already know how that works. Two bottles, 200 pounds. If you weigh 200 pounds, you need two bottles per month. You get the you get the point. Now, if you weigh three um, 100 pounds, you take three capsules per day three three seleniums per day you take them in a you can take them in a single dose just put it in your mouth and swallow it uh 200 pounds multiply six you need six capsules a day divide the dose into three for breakfast and three for dinner divide that nine capsules if you weigh 300 pounds i would divide it three for breakfast three for lunch three for dinner some people do four for breakfast and five for dinner. Fine, you can do that too. But I prefer three, three, three. Three for breakfast, three for lunch, three for dinner. Okay. The last supplement, um, I don't have it here. I left it in the uh, uh, back there in the attic. Um, that back there is very cold. I have a bag of a whole bunch of supplements that I used to take. I'm saving them because those are my souvenirs. I'm saving a lot of those empty bottles. So it's back there, and I do not want to go back there. The last one is Ultimate Enzymes. Uh, this supplement is to support the digestive system and for optimal absorption. Need you to take that. Uh, Ultimate Enzymes, it's what it's called. Um, absorption of what? What does it help you with absorption? Nutrients. It helps you to absorb nutrients. It helps with the nutrient absorption. Also, if you don't have an appendix, 
and you have had an appendectomy, or you don't have a gallbladder. I forgot the medical term for the surgical removal of the gallbladder. I forgot. Um, Google it. If you don't have a gallbladder, remember when they used to tell you this? They told you this back in school in biology class, back in the days for all you baby boomers and millennials. We were told that we don't need the appendix. <laughs> huh? The appendix is just a vestigial organ that is a useless remnant of our evolutionary past. That's how they, they say the same thing with your tonsils. Uh, it's useless. You don't need it. Okay. Now they found out the appendix is part of the digestive system and the tonsils is part of the immune system. <laughs> wow. <laughs> People, listen closely. Every organ in your body has a purpose and function, right? Why the heck would God, or nature, depending on your theology and philosophy, why would God create an organ that the body doesn't need? God is not stupid, is he? He's not stupid. Do you know why you need the gallbladder? Here's another organ that you need. The gallbladder stores something called bile that is produced in the liver, and it stores it until it's needed to digest fatty foods. So this is what happens when you study. You know, when you study, this is, this is what happens. You need to keep every organ in your body and healthy. You got to keep it healthy. So if you don't have a gallbladder or your appendix, you need to take this. this uh, I'm sorry, I don't have it here. This ultimate enzyme. Okay. Get ultimate enzymes. Everyone, even if you don't, ha you have the appendix and you have a glow bladder, you need to get it for your digestive system because it's damaged from all the crap that you ate. Okay, I want to speed up the process so you can get healthy quickly. That's why I want you to get it. Now that I ranted <laughs> and dozing, uh, let's doze for this product. Huh? How do we doze this product? Well, how many bottles do you need per 100 pounds? Okay, let's pretend that this is the ultimate enzyme bottle. <clears throat> how many bottles do you need? One, 200 pounds, you need two bottles. 300 pounds, you need three bottles. Okay, now to dose the supplement for 100 pounds, you need to take four capsules. 100 pounds, four capsules. Take an un uneducated guess. How many capsules do you need for 200 pounds? Eight. Okay. How do you break that up? How should you break that up? Okay, you should be a pro already watching this video. You should be a pro. Okay, 332. What the heck is that? A combination for a locker? <laughs> three for breakfast, three for lunch, and two for dinner. Okay, that's how, that's how I, I broke it up. So, folks, that is the second step toward your 90-day health recovery challenge. Take your 90 essential nutrients with those two additional supplements. Okay, now the third and final step in the 90-day health recovery process, and I'm going to speed it up here, um, maintain 150,000 ORAC score or higher, higher than 150,000 ORAC score. You're probably asking yourself, what the heck is ORAC? <laughs> Sounds like a disease like COPD. You say, I have ORAC. <laughs> Sounds like a stomach problem. <laughs> ORAC is an acronym for Oxygen Radical Absorbance Capacity, hence ORAC. It is how antioxidants are measured in food and in nutrients per serving. For example, Tangy Tangerine 2.0 powdered version contains 8,000 ORAC per serving. Two scoops per serving, to be exact. So if you take four scoops, do the math. I suck at math. I need a calculator. Okay, 16,000 ORAC score if you take four scoops. So you're on your way. Okay, what did I say? You need 150,000 or higher. Okay, that's just 8,000 right there, um, especially if you only weigh 200 pounds. I'm sorry, 16,000 ORAC value score if you weigh 200 pounds. So why should you keep your ORAC score? I'll get back to how you can get the 150,000. Why should you keep 
your ORAC score at 150,000 or more. It helps keep your immune system healthy and strong to fight and prevent diseases. Ooh, baby, are we learning yet, folks? Are you getting it? Huh? How do we keep your ORAC value score at 150,000 or higher? We do this through nutrition and the foods that we eat. Check this out. This is another Tangy Tangerine uh, 2.0, but this is the pill version, the tablet version. The Tangy Tangerine pills are very high in ORAC score. And it says here on the bottle, 160,000 ORAC score, okay? Now, I know what you're probably saying. <laughs> Why then, Andres, are you recommending to get the Tangy Tangerine Juice, which only has 8,000 ORAC scores per serving? Why on earth are you telling us to get that when we can get this pill that has 160,000 ORAC scores per serving? Good question, and it deserves a good answer. Okay, the powdered version of the Tangy is an excellent energy uh, drink. It gives you a nice energy, like in 10 days. And if your digestive system is healthy, um, you get a nice energy, you know. The majority of my clients loves this juice, including myself. We love the Tangy Tangerine juice. Most agree that the powdered tan Tangy version, the 2.0, is it gives them a, 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 an energy, and they love it. And some of them love the taste too. Not all, not everybody likes the taste of the juice. I love it. Let me take another sip. <laughs> I'll take another sip. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> One. Okay. Ooh, I don't want to get my my um, shirt dirty. Okay, some of my clients and my affiliates and their clients do not like the taste of the tangy juice. So they take the uh, the tablet version. That's fine. If you want to take the tablet version, that's fine. Check this out. About every month, once a month, I have a health recovery affiliated meetings, only for my affiliates. Um, and I have them invite their, um, their family members that are sick and their friends that are sick in this meeting. And I present them the 12 deadly foods. Um, I have affiliates, they invite everybody, and we have this two hour meeting. I give my affiliates and their invited guests one cup of tangy tangerine juice, even though I know some of them do not like it. They don't like it, but I give them a cup. However, I changed the taste. I changed the taste. Some of them were saying, hey, did they change the taste of the tangy juice? This tastes awesome. <laughs> Others were saying, yeah, uh, which tangy is this? Uh, I didn't get any emails from Longevity about a new product, and I'm subscribed to the newsletter. What's going on, man? Where did you get this, uh, this juice? Then I said, let's try this tangy. I had another version. I gave them a cup of that version of my tangy. Okay, and that one they went crazy too. Like, hey, this has a nice peachy coconut taste to it. Why are you getting all of this, Andres? <laughs> I told them the uh, the first tangy mix. I mixed it with organic, non-GMO blueberry powdered uh, juice from a company called Natural Foods. I got that in a vitamin store. It's a little expensive. It's like $30 for a pound, a one pound bag. Uh, the second drink was mixed with an organic, non GMO coconut water that I got from a regular supermarket. I even found it in a, I think I found it in the 99 cent store. Okay, a nice half a gallon, 99 cents, organic and non GMO coconut water. Now, you can find a lot of things in a 99 cent store if you know how to look. <laughs> Just don't mix it with a carbonated drink. So in my health recovery meetings, I sell $5 for a sports bottle with either coconut, tangy coconut, or tangy blueberry. <laughs> so, and it was a hit. I sold 
uh, like 30 bottles. Guess what I did with the money? I bought my Nutritions. Plus, I get this for free now. That's another video that I will show you. How do you get this? All these, um, all these supplements for free. Okay? And this is a 24-ounce bottle. This is pretty cool to buy. Okay? You can mix it and, and also measure it to your taste. All right? So... Now I used to take I used to take both the tangy pills and the juice when I was very sick. Um, I had stage one uh, prostate cancer, so I, I took both the pills and the tangy. So I dosed every day for 300 pounds, right? I dosed 300 pounds the tangy juice, the powder, and then I took two tablets to get 80,000 ORAC scores. <laughs> All right? See how easy that is. Okay, some people can't afford both. They can't afford the juice and they can't afford the uh, the tangy pills. So they just buy the tangy pills and also the uh, OsteoFX and the, um, what's the other one? The EFAs. It's very expensive. Okay, so approximately 150,000 ORAC scores uh, you need to maintain or higher. So wait a minute. Um how else can I get 150,000 ORAC scores? Simple, through the foods, okay? You already have the nutrition supplements, okay? Now you got to eat foods that are high in ORAC score. What foods are high in ORAC scores? I'm sure you're asking. Ground cinnamon, excuse me, cinnamon, <laughs> cinnamon, cinnamon, excuse me, ground cinnamon, Take cinnamon every day with your coffee. I take it with my coffee. I do what is called the 10 taps. Do I have my cinnamon here? Pretend this is a uh, cinnamon, okay? I do the 10 taps or the 10 shakes. Do it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's it. That's 10 taps or the 10 shakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then 11 for, for good luck. And 12 for another good luck. It's up to you. I like the 10 taps. Okay, I used to eat ice cream. Um, excuse me. I also eat ice cream. I also eat cream cheese with cinnamon bread. Also, I use it on my gluten-free rice pudding. I don't do the 10 taps on the rice pudding. That's too much. I do like maybe three taps. One, two, three. Um, I also bake gluten-free cinnamon raisin cookies. Ooh, and raisin, too, has high ORAC scores as well smart huh okay also blueberries especially wild blueberries have high orac scores now you know how i mix my now you know why i mix my tang, tangy tangerine juice with blueberry powder mix um also rosemary spice as well i also make blueberry muffins with real organic blueberries that also helps with increasing your orac score uh, spices like rosemary, uh, oregano, um, ginger, black pepper. Most spices and herbs have a high ORAC score. Dark chocolate is another one. Oh, my, do I love dark chocolate. Careful with dark chocolate. Make sure it contains non-GMO ingredients. And careful with the soy lecithin as well. It is also known to get you sick. So I buy my dark chocolate online, soy free if I can't find it in the store. I also bake my brownies with dark chocolate. Um, and I also make hot chocolate with dark chocolate as well. I grind, I grind it. And once you grind it and you put it on hot milk, whoo, it tastes awesome. Organic milk. It's kind of hard to find raw milk. I prefer raw, but it's very difficult here in the Bronx to find raw milk. Red wine is another one. Not that cheap $2 bottle wine. Red wine has high ORAC score. Good wine. Good red wine. Um, you know, um, spend like $10. Okay, at least a $10 bottle. I purchased this wine called Catherine Hall. Um, it's a uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. I think it's the Cabernet Sauvignon. It costs, don't pass out, this bottle costs two hundred dollars a bottle, two hundred dollars. I just wanted to buy it to see what the big hoopla is with these uh, wines. You know, I'm not a wine connoisseur, but I just said, you know what? Let me go to Manhattan. You can't get that in the Bronx. 
You cannot get a two hundred dollar bottle of wine in the Bronx. You get you get sweet bitches or or sweet culitos. <laughs> Three dollars. Who would name a wine that sweet bitches? My God. So um, I took a sip, a little sip in a glass. I just wanted to. And oh my lord, I literally felt like the ex, the excuse me, the ex, the uh, today. I don't know what's going on with me. I can't talk today. I think I'm running out of nutrients. <laughs> and the antioxidants rushed into my immune system. I like almost felt it. And then in my brain, I was like, whoa, man, one shot. That's it. Just a little sip. And I was like, whoa. What is this? I can only imagine how many, um, how much Orex scores are in this bot in that bottle. Whoa! I don't know how many. Um, it's also it's made out of plums, dark plums. Never heard of that. Uh, dark fruit. I guess this dark fruit is like raspberries, blueberry, blackberries. It's got a lot of mix in there. Um, so red wine, baby, has a lot of Orex scores. Beans is another one. Uh, particularly red kidney beans, not in a can, uh, raw beans, you know, make sure it's organic and non-GMO. Um, you can visit Nutri Warriors, uh, and in the 90-day section, the 90-day, the 90, health, I'm telling you today, I can't freaking speak. Um, the 90-day health recovery section, scroll down, you're probably on it right now. Scroll down and you'll see um, a health recovery booklet. Download the booklet, and there is a page with a list of foods that has high ORAC score. So there it is, folks, the three steps for the 90-day health recovery challenge. One, abstain from the 12 daily foods. Two, take the 90 essential nutrients required uh, according to your body weight. And also don't forget the two supplements, Ultimate Selenium. And uh, really, today I am having trouble speaking. I better check that out because uh, I usually are not, I'm, I'm having a little trouble here probably thinking. I'm going to need some more. <laughs> I'm going to need some more <laughs> nutrients here. Hold on a second. God, I love this stuff. Number two. Take the 90 essential nutrients the body requires appropriate for your body weight. And don't forget the two extra supplements. That's a lot better. Holy smokes. And also uh, the two supplements is selenium, ultimate selenium, and also ultimate enzymes. You got to get those two as well. You know, folks, some people are afraid of taking medical nutrition. I think the word medical scares them. They become a little apprehensive and that word, you know, with that word medical. Folks, medical nutrition is basically pure nutrition. We call it medical nutrition because it is non-synthetic, without any fillers, organic, gluten-free, non-GMO, no soy, no fillers, no uh, crap. Um, I have a bottle of selenium. I'm trying to find it here. Um, I purchased uh, this bottle um, in the supermarket. That bottle of selenium has soy. Come on. You know, it has wheat and wheat too. So it had both. And it didn't say non-GMO. And it also has gluten because of the wheat. The grain wheat has the prolamin called gliadin. And gliadin is the gluten prolamin. So I always say, if you buy cheap, that selenium was cheap. It was like $9, and, uh, but it's going to get you sick if you have a gluten intolerant. So I always say, if you buy cheap, you're going to get sick. Cheap equals sick. Spend some money on good stuff, okay? The organic and non-GMO and gluten-free supplements are very expensive, including foods. Organic, non-GMO, and gluten-free foods are expensive. Don't be afraid of taking these nutrients. There, I removed the word medical. I called it nutrients. <laughs> Listen, you were scared, okay? You were frightened when you smoked your first joint. 
Daniel, right? Your first marijuana cigarette, you took that first puff. By the way, I don't smoke marijuana ever. I never smoked marijuana. I was a good little boy in the Bronx. I was a Bronx good little boy. I learned this gesture, uh, this gesture by watching Scarface, Al Pacino. There was a scene there that he was smoking a marijuana joint. Okay. <laughs> I never smoked it ever. Anyway, back to this. You were scared, right? When you took your first drag, right? Were you scared also when you took your first medication, your first prescribed medication? I'm sure you were scared also, right? Some of you were probably not scared because that's your doctor and your doctor is not going to harm you. He knows what's best for you, right? So some of you were not scared and you took that medicine. Folks, all you got to do is try it. Please try it. Come on. Take it. See where it will take you. You never know where it's going to take you, right? It may work. Now, I'm going to close with this. And I don't mean to scare anyone. I really don't mean to scare anyone. Uh, this is scary, but I, I, I have good news at the end, okay? Folks, I always say this in my videos. America is very sick. More than half of Americans are sick. America is suffering. It doesn't matter what demographical group you belong to. It doesn't matter race, nationality, ethnicity, religion, philosophy, theology. It doesn't matter. Everyone is getting sick. And I don't mean to preach, okay? You know what happened? You know what happened to America? You know what happened? We stopped following our ancestors, food culture. We we stopped following their food culture. Who are we following now? The medical doctors who are listening to the agencies like the FDA, the AMA, the World Health Organization. Uh, these people are confused. Okay, you need to lower your cholesterol. No. The other group says, lowering your cholesterol is bad. No, you need to go on a salt-free diet. You got to go on a restricted diet. No salt. No, salt is dangerous. Uh, if you get rid of salt, you can die. That's dangerous. No, no, no. Salt raises blood pressure. The other group says, no, it doesn't. Okay, we did another study. There's confusion, folks. There's a lot of confusion. This is why we are in a health crisis. It's a mess. There is a mess. The allopathic medical system has failed us. Granted, some of their therapeutics are okay. The majority of their therapeutics are dangerous and harming us. Something terrible is coming on its way. It's, it's, in fact, it's already here. And it's very horrifying. Experts are saying that there will be an insulin uh, shortage by the year 2030. Prices for insulin is already skyrocketing and people cannot afford it. Prices for insulin is way up here. Again, I don't mean to frighten you. Yes, this is frightening. Millions will die without access to insulin. Not too long ago, a mother lost her son to diabetes because of the high cost of insulin. It's already here, folks. I know um, this is coming even before 2030. It's going to happen probably sooner than that. I feel it and I see it. All I got to do is go online and read news, uh, news articles and all kinds of stuff. What about if there's an economic disaster? You know, when the country gets hit, it's bound to happen. An economic disaster is going to happen. It's going to be worse than the depression in the 1920s. Okay? Health insurance will not pay for your medication during an economic disaster. A chemotherapy currently today costs $10,000 per treatment. Did you know that? Per treatment, $10,000. Imagine what it's going to cost when an economic disaster happens. Okay, and there's no chemotherapy available for you. Okay, health insurance will not pay for it 
during an economic disaster. As a matter of fact, I think health insurers are probably going to close down. They're not even going to exist. Okay? This economic disaster is going to hit us very hard. Millions are going to die. What about medical nutrition? Hey, what about stuff like this? Medical nutrition. Bye-bye. This is not going to be available. Okay, maybe it will be available, but extremely expensive. Uh, only the rich will probably be able to afford it. Forget the poor. Forget the middle class. The rich are the ones that are going to be able to afford that if it's available during an, an economic uh, disaster. They are the only ones that will be affected, okay, for, for this uh, upcoming disaster. The poor and the middle class are going to be affected big time. So what do you do? to avoid this disaster, okay, and to remain um, healthy. Just told you, you need to prepare for the big one. You need to stop eating these foods and that's getting you sick and killing you slowly. Take the 90th century nutrients every day and keep your ORAC scores uh, at 150,000 or more. Maintain that ORAC score at 150,000 or more. When the big one hits, at least you, your family, some of your friends kept your nutritional tank full. You don't have to panic when the big one happens, okay? Like I said in the Bronx, you know, this is what we say in the Bronx. Everything's going to be copacetic if you follow the discipline, the plan. Follow the plan. Try this for 90 days. Try the 90-day health recovery challenge. I challenge you today. Take the 90. Get rid of the foods first, then take the 90 and maintain your ORAC score. That's it. You'll feel better. Uh, you're going to feel a lot better. If it doesn't work, then fine. All right? Stop taking it. And also, you can also reply your comments. Put on your comments in the bottom here on, on the screen if you're on uh, I'm not going to delete them. If you're on YouTube, you can comment on the bottom and call me all kinds of names. I'm not going to delete them. Go ahead. Oh, this crap doesn't work, Andres. You're a freaking liar. Go ahead. <laughs> put it on Put it on there, okay? And, or it may work for you. And beautiful, awesome. I'm happy for you. I'm proud. You did it. You're healthy. That was my goal, okay? You did it. Then upgrade. If you need to, upgrade to another pack to help you with a certain disorder. Upgrade. If you're having a bone or joint disorder, upgrade to the bone and joint pack. If you're having some kind of dementia uh, or cardiovascular disorder or respiratory um, issues, upgrade to the brain and heart pack, okay? Visit the disease section at NutriWarriors.org. Each page has Dr. Joe Wallach or Dr. Peter Glidden um, explaining the protocol of those illness, illnesses in that page. Uh, oh, and don't forget to watch my four-hour video of the 12 Deadly Food video. In fact, in a few seconds, it's going to pop up on the screen so you can click on it and watch the video. Try it, darn it. Try it. What are you afraid of? That it's going to get you healthy? Are you afraid that you might get healthy? Oh, that's a horrible thought. You getting healthy. Oh, my God. You go, whoever thought about that? <laughs> I tried everything. I tried allopathic drugs. I was on 14 drugs, acupuncture, all kinds of diet. And yes, I tried marijuana. Okay. I tried as a therapeutic. Okay. For my cancer, not for recreation. Uh, recreation. Not for recreation. Never. Never did that. I swear, I didn't smoke it. May God strike me down right now with a heart attack. See? Nothing. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm <only> kidding. <laughs> Try this for 90 days. Okay? Give it a shot. I hope you all enjoy this video, but most of all, you learned something. I know I couldn't speak well today. Something happened. I don't know what it is. Maybe I, I worked too hard today. I need to chill out with work got to calm down a little also. And uh, once again, folks, thanks for tuning in. I'm Andres, the Bronx Citizen for Nutri Warriors. Thanks for tuning in. Stay healthy. 
and see I'll see you on the next video. Who knows when that'll be? Live long and prosper. Peace, God bless, signing off from the Boogie Down Bronx.